Wow, so this guy was the beast titan before him. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan episode 74 called Soul Salvation. If you like the video, smash the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Take a good look, Zeke. That's Liberia where we live. Wow, it's like a tiny birdcage. Oh, so it's Krisha Yeager. Oh, yeah, so that's the thing that I was saying in uh, over like a few episodes. I was saying that maybe Zeke did actually fulfill his duties, you know. Oh my gosh, with water. Wow, it's my job to clean the tower and get rid of trash. If you don't like it, you've got to change it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, even though it looked like he had, like, betrayed his parents, maybe he just had to do it in his own way by, like, you know... Um, snitching on them, sending them in. And then, you know, the world was like, okay, he's one of us. Wow, Jaeger's behind. So are we going to find out how he became the Beast Titan? Because that's another question I had. Like, who was the Beast Titan before him? Oh, and that's that guy. Remember he was like Dr. Kasava at the end? You have a special power. Social Dance Club. Wow, a lot of people died. I want to be a warrior. So it was most likely this Dr. Kasava who... Oh my gosh. What is... Oh, that's Commander Magus, actually. It was probably that Commander Kasava who taught him how to... You know... Be a warrior. Because he was like throwing the baseball with him. Which is interesting because that's the Beast Titan's specialties to throw things. Because, wow, oh, it never happened. Because that's the other thing. Everybody was just telling him what to think this whole time. You're catching on, Zeke. And now he's probably got a decent throw on him. <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> Oh. Wow, so this guy was the Beast Titan before him. Tom Kasava. Tom Kasava. Wow, so he overheard this. Like all the pressure that's on him. And he was like there to talk about how... You know, he had a good day because he was playing catch with another Eldian. And then he just got made look like a disappointment. Oh, 
この間散々だったな。クレイジー。笑い事じゃないよ。あれからずっと雑用係をやらされて、そのあとは何なんですか君。巨人の謎を知りたかったからさ。私は研究者だ。あ、そう、ユミルが何かと接触したことから始まるら
エレンはヒソの巨人の保有者ですそのエレンから父親の話を何か聞いたか確か今は行方不明で医者をやってたと聞きました。Oh, so、that's what he found out. なんてことだ。That father was alive. エレン、俺たちは被害者だ。お前は。And this is why he said, Aaron, I'll come back to save you. Yeah. It's just like everybody has their own storyline, you know. And this is where they actually spoke. Some of Dad's memories opened up to me. Oh, yes, that picture. You believe that father was right. Wow. So that's when he decided I'll do it. その日を迎えるまで進み続けるそうだろう兄さん Right brother 固い握手でも交わしたいところだがまあ Oh because of you know the scream and the coordinates and the path 受け取ってくれエレン We're gonna save everyone Very interesting episode Oh, so now we've jumped back again, and he's just getting slaughtered. Euthanization. I saved lives. Oh. Oh, the pin of the Thunder Spear. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Holy smokes, dude. Like, first of all, I'm sure that、uh, Zeke can survive that because, you know, he's a Titan, so. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a big blow, but Levi, on the other hand, that's a big shot. And obviously, he wasn't even expecting him to do that. But wow, what a big backstory. This is like sort of the dive into the show that I wanted to see a little bit more of. So I was kind of wrong. He wasn't really doing it for his parents. He was just basically, he just didn't want to go to Paradise Island because, you know, Mr. Cassava, which is someone that he called his father. Like, try to show him a different way. And basically, that's what this whole plan of this is like the euthanization, which is basically they just want to wipe all the Titans out, or they want to stop them from being able to have kids. And then in a hundred years, you know, they'll this will never repeat itself because they'll be wiped out. And now you also see why Aaron went along with it because, you know, he's just like. I saw the memories of my father. He was wrong. I was wrong. This is the only correct plan. Mr. Cassava said, you know, find someone you trust. And so it all just worked out that way. And so, yeah, what's going to happen with that? And, you know, when it gets down to the dire moments of the show, what decisions are going to be made? You know, because everybody can have a certain stance right now, but at the end of the day, it's still like. Are you gonna do that or not when it comes down to killing your own friends and all these types of things? So, I guess we'll have to see what happens with that. But, yeah, a really good episode in terms of the history and the lore of the show. But that's gonna be it for me. If you liked the video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you want. I'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace in a bit.